Hey there, Simplifiers. We are just days away from Christmas, and today I would like to give you some more clutter-free gift ideas for anybody on your last-minute shopping list, or as my husband calls it, the shopping list. If you happen to miss my first clutter-free gift list, you can check that out right here or I will link to it at the end of this video. Today, I have four more clutter-free gift ideas for people of all ages on your gift list. My first suggestion is for special event tickets. So this could be anything from a sporting event to a concert to a Broadway show to an art exhibit, anything that is in the interest of the person you're buying that gift for. And in the last video, we talked a little bit about getting a season subscription. This would be if the season subscription is a little bit too expensive or there's just a really special event coming to a town or a town near you that you wanna take your friend or family member to. And just to get sidetracked for a second, but circle back around to the event idea, Giving a clutter-free gift doesn't have to be boring, even though a lot of times it includes something um, just like a piece of paper or some tickets. I personally am giving my husband tickets to see one of our favorite comedians, John Mulaney, for Christmas. And so to make giving the tickets fun, because tickets are kind of boring, I have borrowed a jack-in-the-box from a friend and... There's his little face right there. So even though the gift itself isn't super fun and wowed open, there are fun ways that you can dress up these clutter-free gifts and make them more interesting to give on Christmas morning. Next up, let's talk the gift of some sort of service. So these could be something that would be paid like a massage or a manicure and pedicure or even something as simple as a haircut. A lot of times people and moms in particular, maybe don't treat themselves as much as they should. So giving some sort of certificate for a service that this person may not treat themselves to on a regular basis is a really special gift that you can give to them. And a service gift doesn't have to be something you pay for. Some examples of volunteer service that you could offer friends and family would be something like babysitting so they could have a night out or cooking a meal or running errands or even cleaning the house if that's something that you enjoy doing and that they are in need of. Just keep your eyes open and see if there's any needs that your friend or family member seems to have and is there some way that you can either volunteer or get a certificate to help alleviate some of the stress in that person's life. The gift of less stress is one of the greatest gifts that you can give. Trust me. Next up, let's talk memberships. We are so lucky here in Columbus to have an amazing world-class zoo. We have a science center, we have an art museum, and these are all places that I love to take my kids. But when you start adding up all of the different memberships together, we are looking at between six and $700 a year if my family wants to do all of these things. So is there some sort of membership in your town that somebody on your gift list would enjoy? Are they into art and would love to spend a year going to the art museum when Whenever they wanted or maybe you have an amusement park or a water park that's near you that your family would enjoy going to on a regular basis during the summer asking for things like this from your family members not only allows you to do something fun with the family and continue to do it repeatedly but it also could be a fun experience for a grandparent who purchases the membership to then come along and see the zoo or the water park or the science center with the kid. It goes back to the idea of giving these experience gifts to help create memories and strong relationships between the gift giver and the receiver. So anything that you can do to foster those relationships, I highly recommend as a clutter-free gift. And finally, you could give the gift of learning to kids of all ages on your gift list. You could do a live class, which could be for kids like a swim class or a gymnastics class or any sort of soccer clinic or basketball clinic. And if the gift giver feels a little uncomfortable just giving a class, you could always look at something like 
giving a leotard to go along with dance classes or giving some nice chef knives to go along with a knife skills course. This is also a great way for relatives who give these classes to get involved in the kids' interests and lives. So if your kid is taking swim classes that were paid for by grandma and grandma got goggles and a bathing suit also for your little girl for Christmas, then grandma could also come in and see her in her swim class using the bathing suit and the goggles and then also be able to talk with her about what she's learning in that class. So again, it's a really great way to create stronger relationships through experience gifts. Now, if a live class doesn't offer what you need in your town, there are lots and lots of online learning courses. You could do everything from art classes and music classes to foreign language classes, or perhaps you just have a crafter who wants to up their game and do a little bit more with Photoshop and things like that. There are all sorts of online classes. And I actually came across two really great ones for kids. One is called jam.com and the other one is called Stepstool Chef Academy. At jam.com, they cover all ranges of ideas from science to art to music. They even have a great Lego building course that kids could take a look at. And Stepstool Chef Academy is geared specifically towards little kids and teaching them step by step how they can learn to cook in a kitchen with real tools and real recipes. And I'm gonna give a little shameless plug to anybody out there who wants to get organized in the new year. I myself will be offering an online class on Facebook starting on January 15th and it's a three part class about getting yourself organized so you can teach your kids how to get organized. And if you sign up before December 31st, you can get $10 off the cost and more information is available at this link right here. Thank you so much for watching part two of my clutter-free gift list and be sure to check out part one if you're still looking for some clutter-free gift ideas for your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my simplifying and organizing ideas for you and your family members. Take care, have a Merry Christmas, and I will catch you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions.